So first of all, join the VPS providing Discord server. Head over to free VPS host channel. Here you can see the free VPS services. You just have to invite your friends to the server and you get free VPS. Just create an invite link and spam to all of your friends. You can visit the commands channel and type I to check your invites. Once you get the required invites, you are ready to create a ticket. Create ticket in the reward claiming category. Inside the ticket, show your invites then ping all of the staffs. Once you get the VPS SSH link, click on the link. Login as a root user. Run apt update and apt install NeoFetch. You will get your VPS as per your invite plans. I'm recording a video so that's why I got 32 GB RAM VPS. As you can see it's fully real RAM and no swap RAM. To install Pterodactyl panel, you will be needing these two commands. I will provide it in the hostings discord. Paste the first command and press 6 to install Cloudflare first. Once Cloudflare is installed, go to Cloudflare dashboard and log into your account. For installing Pterodactyl panel, you will need a domain. You can get free subdomains in Cloudflare. I will give tutorial in Discord server or you can search in YouTube also. Go to Zero Trust section then go to Networks. Inside Networks go to Tunnel. Click on Create a Tunnel and name anything as you wish. Click on Debian, then copy the command and paste it in the VPS. Now go back to Cloudflare and you will see VPS connected to Cloudflare Tunnel. Click on Next. Type any name you want in the panel's URL. Click your domain or subdomain the the domain section. Select HTTPS in the type and localhost in the URL. Click on additional application settings then go to TLS then turn on the no TLS verify button. As you can see the tunnel is now fully activated. Now paste the first command again and click on 1 to install the pterodactyl panel. Enter the full URL that we created in the Cloudflare tunnel. Let it do its installation process. After it finishes installing, it will ask you to create a user. Select yes in the administrator part. Type any email in which you want admin access. Once the panel is installed, visit the panel URL. Login with the user you created. Now go to admin settings then go to nodes. Add a location first. Type anything you want here, it doesn't really matter. Now create a new node. To get the FQDN, Go back to Cloudflare Tunnel. Go to Published Application Routes. Add a published application route. Type the subdomain you want and select the domain. On the service type HTTPS and the URL to localhost 8080. Click on Additional Application Settings, then go to TLS, then click on No TLS Verify button. After that add the URL of the application route we just created.
creating node, go to the VPS console. Select 2 to install the wings. Go to the node's configuration and copy the required things and paste in the VPS console. After the wings gets installed in the VPS, go to node setting in the panel and set the daemon port to 443. As you can see the node is now up. Click on the node and head over to the allocation section. Set the IP address as 0.0.0.0 and set IP alias and port as anything you want because it won't matter anyways. You will have to use play it to get the server's IP and port. Let's create a server for testing purposes. Go to the file section, then go to plugins, then upload the Play It plugin. Restart the server. Click on the link shown in the panel. Click on View Tunnel and your IP and port will be given. Use this IP and port for Minecraft server connection. Thank you so much for watching till the end. This much for today. Bye guys.